This is powdered gold. Well, maybe not. But of all the different flowers we have to choose from on the ketogenic diet, and this one specifically for the carnivore diet, is chicken flour. But chicken flour doesn't come cheap. When you go and look this up, you could pay $6 or more an ounce for chicken flour. Why are you doing that? I'm about to show you how to make chicken flour. Not only did I make it super fast, but you'll save a ton of money making it yourself. And so the first thing we'll need is chicken. This is a rotisserie chicken, which is gonna make this recipe super fast. I'm gonna take just the breast to show you guys the process. And the wonderful thing about this, if you get a nice rotisserie chicken like this, all you're gonna simply do is break this breast right off. You shouldn't even need a knife. Now just shred this up and you can basically just push this down like this and it's gonna start shredding for you. Just break pieces off like this. And if you do have a rotisserie chicken and you're worried about the flavoring, just take something like a skewer or a toothpick and just remove this top area. So now we'll go ahead and finish shredding this up. You just want it shredded enough for the next step. Once you've got this shredded up pretty good, you're gonna take your Nutribullet or food processor and go ahead and load up your canister. Now, when you do this, make sure you don't fill it all the way up. You need to leave room for it to expand. If you put all of this in, it's gonna turn into a mush. We'll go ahead and get this mixed up. And now when I put it in the microwave, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on a paper plate. And the reason I'm using a paper plate is because it will help absorb some of the water. So we'll spread this out. We're gonna go ahead and place this in the microwave for two minutes. Go ahead and cover it up. And then a second way, I'm gonna go ahead and place this in the microwave for two minutes before I put it in the food processor. As you can see, some of the moisture came out of this. So we're gonna go ahead and put this one, which is just shredded into the microwave for two minutes. And while that's cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and place this back into the food processor. You'll notice now, this looks more like a chicken flour. But we're not done yet, because this is still wet. Once the other one that's in the microwave is done, we're gonna go ahead and microwave this for another two minutes. Pull this one out. And we're gonna do the same process with this one. This is just to see which one turns out better. We're gonna go ahead and get this one spread out on another plate. Again, notice, it's a little more clumpy than the pre-shredded one. And now you'll see the coloration. See the moisture coming out? Look how much darker it is after two more minutes. We're gonna go ahead and place this one in the microwave for two minutes. We're gonna go ahead and bump this one more time. This is definitely looking more like chicken flour. There's the shredded batch. Notice it is a much different texture. Now we're gonna go ahead and place this in for an additional two minutes. That's a total of six minutes altogether. We'll throw this in the mixer while that's in the microwave. Notice the difference as it dries. You see, this is what the stuff that you buy from the store will look like. We're gonna go ahead and put this in for two more minutes. We'll show you both of them. You can hear this. This is dried out now. So here's the second one. You notice the darkness? Notice this is a little lighter? This one probably still needs a little more cook time. So I'm gonna go ahead, mix it up. Although there's no moisture on the bottom, I want the color just a little bit darker. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this one up, put it in the microwave for an additional one minute, and that's much better. So notice the coloration of these, and these darker orange spots are the ones that I was concerned about. Those are the ones that were little bigger pieces that I want to make sure are cooked. So we're gonna get this combined. As you see, dry plate. We'll go ahead and get this in this fresh cup. Make sure it's good and powdery like a flour. If not, go ahead and bump it again. Now we'll go ahead and see what just the chicken breast. I didn't put the thigh in, I didn't put the legs in, I didn't put the wings in. We're gonna go ahead and zero out the plate. Now just the chicken breast alone is almost three ounces. That would be $18 if you bought this. So for a rotisserie chicken, just using the chicken breast, if you took all of the chicken breast meat off, you'd probably get three to four ounces, depending on the size chicken you get, for a fraction of the cost in six minutes. You have 
perfect chicken flour. Thanks for watching. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, go ahead and check those out. Go ahead and click that subscribe, share this video, like this video, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.